If you have a problem with the NVIDIA Studio driver downloading but not installing, it doesn't do much of anything. Um, I'll show you how to do that manually. As you can see here, it's downloading. And once it gets full, once it gets 100%, it just does nothing. It doesn't prompt a start. There we are nearing 100%. And afterwards, it will do absolutely nothing. Yep, see, it just goes back to download. Nothing appeared, no prompt, no anything. You can re-download it. It doesn't do anything. Anyway, enough of that. So what we do is we can go look at um, right here, settings, and look at your driver version right there. Or you can right-click. If you have NVIDIA, of course, you're going you're gonna to need that. It's a big part of it. NVIDIA control panel, and that will bring up a box. And you go up here to help and click system information. And that should match. If those two don't match, then you have a different issue, which uh, this is not going to cover. But you can go ahead and close all of that. And then we go to NVIDIA. Dot com. Products. Oh, sorry, drivers. Go to GeForce drivers. Automatic is what we were using. That did not work. Um, so let's go back to the control panel to 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 system info sorry I'm kind of bouncing around here and that doesn't list there we go it does list if you hover over yours might look a little different uh, you can get the info there on exactly what you have or if you go back into here it'll tell you right there under my rig so this is GeForce RTX 3060 a laptop and that's what we need to download so GeForce the 30 I got a notebook right here, so we're going to do notebooks. And it is the 3060 laptop GPU. You want to make sure to get exactly what you've got there. We're on Windows 11 here. Language, download type, and this will be the Game Ready or the Studio. I'm doing the Studio one. So start search, and that will pop up a list of available ones. I don't need push notifications. And just go ahead and download the latest one. Download now. It'll give you all the highlights, blah, blah, blah. You read that if you want to. It's not necessary. And you don't have to fill anything out here. You can just save it directly to your computer. And once that is done, you go ahead and double click it and open it up and install like you would anything else. But that's how to find exactly what you need. And there's two ways of doing it. Either you can look at the driver version here or go into... Uh, the GeForce Experience, and look at the driver here, and they should be the same uh, across these two. If they're not, like I said, you got different issues, but go ahead and get the newest one and make sure under my rig that you are searching for whatever is listed here. I hope that helps somebody. Uh, thanks for watching. And after you're done with that, you just right click um, wherever the download is, wherever you have your downloads are, and then you just install like a normal program and yeah, I can't really display that because my monitor is going to cut out if I do that. And then the stream will die. So <laughs> um, any issues, let me know. Thanks.